Hey everybody, welcome back to Kingdoms Reborn. In the last episode, we got our advanced bakery. We hit up the blacksmith in order to produce our own tools and we got ready for wine. Now in this episode, we're gonna get wine up and going. We're going to start out with a couple of just the regular wine buildings in order to get the advanced unlocked. We wanna take a look at getting glass up and going so that we can start upgrading our buildings without requiring to purchase glass. And then we're gonna take a look at doing coffee. Now a comment from a viewer said that beer wine and coffee would be good as it is getting to be the cold time of year we're already producing beer and that's not a tier two luxury which leads me to wonder about mead and i'm not sure how i feel about it clothes might go with that line of thought since we're already making beer do clothes then coffee and wine for our tier two luxuries that might be the turnaround that we go with in sticking with that magic mushrooms having an extra one possibly picking up glassware to go with having glasses for the beer and the wine that might be the ultimate end goal. I don't know how far we're going to go and get in this episode, but we do want to start with technology as there are some things that I'd like to pick up. If first off, we want to pick up foreign relations. Now, I don't think that I'm going to put an embassy in one of my competitors as I don't have enough of relations with them to really place that there. It does unlock diplomacy with minor cities. We may take a look at this. I'm not really sure, but let's go ahead and hit that. We'll take the school. Now, schools aren't something that I'm massively worried about if technology is in a good spot we may add some in the future but i'm not quite sure but it leads to the scholar's office which will unlock both paper and the ability to produce cards this is what i really want to go after because i would like to start producing our own cards in order to get the motivation cards as our happiness is 87 percent those are 27 percent cards versus the 20 of passion we'll go with the theater and we'll most definitely get a theater up and going we'll probably start with that and then the coffee roaster, which was a suggested item. Now, the hotel was something that I vaguely touched on in the last playthrough. I don't know how good it is, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. We may build that this episode. Not quite sure. We'll see what time kind of shows. And with that, we can go ahead and close out all of our spam. I'm not going to buy any of the buildings just because I have enough of the wild cards. So let's go ahead and get rid of the embassy and see if we have the hotel up there, which we do not. So if we take a look in here, the hotel is not that bad in price. Total of a little over a thousand plus it takes glass and bricks. So it re-fortifies that we need to get bricks up and going. But I guess we still start with wine that's really what we want because we want to get the next two tier two luxuries and then get to another bakery so with the wine it looks like they're a little bit bigger than the bakery so we'll place four of them in a different configuration in the same area we'll go something like that we'll let those build out and then once those are built we'll get the advanced one in place i do want a few extra workers maybe we bump up the builders to seven that will get enough working on them that we get two working at one time that that leads us to sand in order to get to glass so we're gonna go ahead and put it in this little harbor over here and let's go ahead and drop it there as far over as we can and we'll get a road on this side right here in order to put a warehouse over here now i think this will unlock the advanced warehouse i know at one point in time there was a mission over here saying to do that i'm not sure why it dropped off but at some point in time it did let's go ahead and grab our yearly cards and then i want to look at adding some extra houses as we're close to our housing and what we're looking at is right now food is in really good shape and as long as food is in really good shape i want to keep pushing ahead i just want to keep fortune ahead and make sure that we're ready i know the last time i looked we were in the range of four houses away from the industrial age in terms of houses even though we have two tech levels in order to get there let's grab these immigrants we'll grab the sustainability book they're looking happy that's always good to see we'll grab grab a tavern right here just to get our spacing up we'll look at the market but we'll go ahead and just pause it and then we'll put a, another group of houses up here and that unlocks the advanced winery which it looks like it gives a five percent wine export price but we cannot import it which is fine because the point of making it isn't to import it so i'm good with what we have going on here we won't buy it we'll just go ahead and use one of our cards let's get four more houses right here here and this will be getting ready for making bread over here now upgrade points are an issue and we're gonna have to go after some war units in order to get the upgrade points let's go ahead and shut off the market we don't want that to build we'll grab a library for over here while we're here and this will pretty much bring this area 
up to the point that we want it. Let's go ahead and get rid of these wineries in order to get ready for the advanced winery. I don't want anybody working over here, but I guess what we could do in the meantime is take a look at it. And in the base, it's 27 grapes get turned into nine barrels. Not sure how good that is. If we look at the budget, it increases it to 72. So we're going to want a frugality card in here. And if we bump the budget a little bit, it takes it from nine to 13 we can probably expect it to be about four times that in the advanced we might be able to use one advanced in order to produce enough i'm not quite sure yet it looks like there is some different things down here including the upgraded recipes which requires paper and then the wine appreciation which might be as upwards sixteen thousand. so i do want to leave a little bit of money for that let's go ahead and get rid of this one in order to get ready for the advanced so i'll go ahead and grab that i did build two extra magic mushroom facilities between episode so that it would unlock the advanced magic mushroom not sure when we're going to build this but the nice thing about this is it gives 50 percent job happiness in this building combining the two that we have with this we might be able to use magic mushrooms as a sale item not sure if we're going to do that or not but it is something that we want to look at let's grab the winery and we're going to go ahead and head up here and we do get a negative appeal so we'll start with a warehouse we'll throw the warehouse right there and that was in the wrong spot that was a misclick so let's go ahead and get the warehouse in the right spot i would like there to be a hot key for that as a lot of things like the houses be an h and then i can just place the houses i'd like a hot key for that i'm still a little bit unfamiliar with the shift z i don't know why i've been playing the game for nearly 500 hours you'd think that i'd have that one down let's grab the winery we'll go one road past so something like that we'll let that get built i do want to drop two frugality in there for the time and then we're going to prioritize getting that built so that we can start the production of wine these are on grapes but what i'm not seeing is grapes in the bank here so it means that we've got to get more food over here for the group over here we should look at since we already have the mill over here we may want to look at enabling the mill getting some books in here so let's get the improved grinder let's go ahead and increase the budget and go ahead and up the work hour if we switch over to the other one we did motivation and productivity so we'll drop motivation in there and if we have a productivity we will go with that and this should get it to an okay spot so we can build another bakery and it looks like we don't have enough upgrade points to upgrade it as it takes 42 so we need a little bit more population or we need to do some conquering let's move the productivity book back up there speaking of that i want the ability to have a bigger card hand up there so let's take a look in the upgrade tree and we'll grab the card inventory too now back at the beginning we'll pick up four because we're starting to cut down trees farming technology is always something that we want to do heating technology i do want to revisit at some point in time since we will get to coal production for our people we're just not there yet and ranches we're going to stay with four of the pig ranches we're going to go with four of the sheep so we get a food variety we're going to go with four of the cows so we get a food variety and i see that there's cheese in the tech tree so i don't know if cheese is like bread where it's going to be a super efficient building but it's something that we will be checking out eventually let's go ahead and pick up a couple levels of the ranching it locks us to the industrial age and we'll unlock the great hall this will get us ready for our first monument now after all of our spam of course we are not going to build that quite yet. It's going to take a lot of bricks. If we take a look at it, I think that it was like 600 bricks. So we might bump up the production of bricks just to have that in the bank. And then 1500 wood means we're probably going to want to bump up wood as well just to make sure that we have all of that on hand in order to build it. So let's bump this up to, uh, let's go with 700 for the time being. And then for the wood, let's bring this up to 2K for the time being. And then what we'll do is since we're bumping this up, we're going to go ahead and take it off the trade list. Let's go ahead and pick up our yearly cards. Let's pick up that immigration. We've got a little bit of housing capacity. So let's go ahead and pop one of these immigration cards. I do want to get up to that. And I'm starting to notice that we have enough people year round that we have laborers hanging around that's where we want to be we really want to be in that neighborhood where we always have extra labors this area right here let's go ahead since it's the middle of spring 
Even though this would have started already, let's grab those immigrants. Let's grab this frugality book that gets us a second one. Let's delete out this farm and let's go ahead and switch this over to having a mill here so that we're ready for more bread production over here. It will boost up these farms and what we'll probably look at doing is dropping off two of these farms eventually and maybe even moving the farms a little bit further to the north as I want to have a few more houses in here getting ready for more bread let's do that right there let's get that mill up and going let's get the farm and i'll go ahead and just quick build it to make sure that it's up and going this one can stay on wheat but i do want it to be set to only three workers windmill can just produce naturally and motivation and passion so I don't know that we have another productivity. Yeah, we do. We can set those in there. So just motivation and productivity. A thousand per, for the production limit is perfectly fine. This will make sure that we're plenty good on farms or on flour in order to make sure that our bakery is non-stop. So the next thing that we want to look at is getting glass up and going. Sand is up and ooh man, it takes seven upgrade points in order to get the productivity bonus. I don't know that we're going to spend it on there as I really want it on bread at the moment. It makes these upgrade points, it makes them really valuable. Let's go ahead and do the improved training and with those tools, it gets us to 37. Let's go ahead and set a production limit of 500 and we'll go ahead and bump the budget up will increase to overtime we'll do a frugality just to keep the budget down and then we'll go with a motivation gets us to 202 percent this should get us enough sand and keep people uh, unoccupied because we won't use a ton of glass but that brings us to the smelter and we'll put it up here i think yeah we'll put it right there i'd like to leave a little bit of room here in case we want to add an irrigation pump at some point in time so maybe we go a little bit further they're this way. I'm not sure how good the irrigation pumps are. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments. They were a thing during the Emirate age, and I know they were kind of necessary because you were building in the desert, and I'm not sure how good they are for some of the other factions. For the glass, let's go ahead and set a production of a thousand, and since we're going to set a production of a thousand, I'm going to say we're going to sell glass, because glass is worth a pretty penny. If we had, say, a hundred to sell, that's three thousand in the bank. So we might as well add that in and then we'll do some adjustments to our trade. In particularly, I don't want to sell wood since we're starting to use it for coal and other things, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that off. I did add magic mushrooms to the roster in order to get some sales there. I wanted money to be in a good place. Let's go ahead and add glass next. And wine is something we may want to add to this list at some point in time. We'll go 800 on the glass, so it will be a thousand that we can make, but we'll sell it at 800. That will give us a a variance of about 200. We are going to have to look at trade because I would like four more houses in this neighborhood. So let's go ahead and copy this and then we're going to place them down here where we were using for all of our upgrades. So we'll do two there. I'm going to have to move that road before I do the next part. Let's get a road this way. At some point in time, I'll come through and redo this with stone. Speaking of redoing it with stone, uh, that road is in the wrong spot. So I'm going to have to fix that real quick. But but speaking of stone, I did a big section of stone right here just to get a little bit more speed on that main way. Let's get rid of this right here. We'll get rid of this one just so they don't build it. Granted, if they build it, we can just delete it out later. And then this road right here can go away, getting us room for the other traders. I'm going to leave room for a walkway in between and we'll go with instead of three like we have up above, we'll go for a fourth one. And this may do a building combo because I am seeing the building combo pop up. But as soon as all these build, we'll go ahead and make the move. We'll delete out this right here. And this was a comment that came in from a viewer saying, saying do kill all before we get rid of our pig ranches absolutely this is something we should do so let's get rid of this one this pretty much finalizes this set of pig ranches we'll go ahead and clear out all these roads we'll place some other roads in just a minute let's grab our steel and our immigration cards we've got 36 steel cards that's completely cracking me up we'll want the granary but i'm gonna go ahead and yeah you know what? we'll we'll take the granary and what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna place it right here and then we're gonna place the houses on the other side right here let's get rid of 
these and then we'll have to add the sustainability over to the other ones let's grab these immigrants we'll grab a motivation i guess no we've got motivation we'll grab the frugality just to make sure we have some extra let's sell off these trade companies just so they're out of our card hand before we build the last two houses what I want to do with this area up here is put a, a theater up in here, which is part of why we're doing this is our first expansion. Let's get rid of that little nublet of road before we get our last couple houses. I'm going to be really looking forward to shrubs in the future. Let's move this trader probably up here for the time being. Hopefully this is out of the way as I don't want to get the wandering trader. I think that's kind of a little bit of a bork thing in the game once you get this far along. And then in this area right here, we'll go ahead and do our theater. Let's get a road to block off this area. And that pretty much stabilizes this. Oh man, this is not good. Let's fix these two houses before we get too much further. I guess we do a road this way. Everybody moved in just to get kicked out. That's the, the name of the game some days. We'll get these houses in the right spot. And then we'll put the theater up here. I'm all sorts of not being able to build today. So with the theater, it's a 240 for the card. I didn't catch what the upkeep was. It looks nice and centered right there. And then we'll put some decorations behind it. Let's do the road here. We'll do the road here and then we'll do a road on this side. And this will give us the opportunity to do some decorations around it. I'm not sure other than shrubs, maybe we mix shrubs and the bushes just to make this area kind of pop. Looks like we do need glass, but glass is in production now. So we're in good shape for that. Let's go ahead and get the upgraded team. So currently, I guess we should look at this first. We're producing 15 with the upgraded team. It brings us to 22. If we did the furnace, which we've got the bricks, brings it from 19 to 13 for what it takes. And the smelters guild, we don't really need to worry about. Let's increase the budget. Let's go ahead and increase the hours and we'll give a double frugality. Yeah, let's do a double frugality just to keep our budget nice and fresh. It's here's where we're at at the moment. With something like the glasswork where it can just trickle over time, we're going to want to keep the budget low. But with something like food, we want to make it huge production so that we can have more people. So we're going to very strategically be placing our cards to where we're optimizing our people because our biggest issue right now is people. It's not resources. It's just having enough labor in order to get everything done. This is our first theater. And look at that. The guests are absolutely insane. So everybody in the town is pouring in. Let's boost up the budget. I know it's going to cost a little bit of money, but at the same time, if it can increase our entertainment and look at that, we're at 87. We're at 94 now. Absolutely astonishing. 95. I'm happy with that. Let's get a market planned because at some point in time, we will want this. I've heard some things about not turning on the market, but just leaving them in storage. I'm going to go ahead and shut them off and let's go ahead and take a look at our wine as we grab our yearly cards. Excellent. Excellent. What are we at for houses? So we're at 49 level five houses plus an additional seven. So we've got the 50 houses that we need. We now just need to get them to level six. We've got the wine up and going. We'll upgrade it to the next age, which we're going to want to do. So it's going to take it from 30 up to 31. Not really that impressive, but maybe with the uh, wine appreciation, you know, 36, we're starting to get there. We bump the budget up. It's only 15. So it's only going to be 30 when it's running because when it's closed down, it's half the budget. And then if we bump up the work hours, we're at 96 to 52. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. I almost think we, we need a frugality book to really make that pop. Let's do the immigrants. Let's go ahead and get a sustainability. No, let's go with a frugality and that will get this at least stabilized for the time being. I don't think that we're producing any wine because it still shows that we're minus input. So let's switch one of these out for a sustainability and at least it gets us up and going for at least one batch. I would like to keep that up and going. It means that we've got to get some other food down here so they're not eating the grapes. And I think this is where we're going to go ahead and build our next bakery. Hopefully we have enough people for this. Seeing as how I'm seeing a lot of pull from a lot of the houses. So I think that I'm worried that we need a little bit bigger city center 
than what I like to build. So with it, I guess we got to bite the bullet and get the bakery going. We'll do the bakery this way by, I'm going to say four. And I do not going to worry about building warehouses. We got the granary right here. Since the windmill's up and going, I don't know that we need to really worry about having a transport. But maybe what we should do is switch this one over to wheat just so we have wheat over here. And that should get started in the next year. Let's switch over to our other bakery and we can see that there's a sustainability and a frugality and we want to stick with that. So let's go ahead and place in our sustainability and frugality for this one. We'll switch it to wood fired and then we're just going to have to let it build and then we'll adjust the budget. I guess what I could do is if we go ahead and click it on the one, just shift click it, it should set it so that when the one finishes, we're ready. And it looks like we have enough upgrade points to upgrade that when it's it's built. This is good. You know, we've started glass. We've got the wine up and going. I don't know how much wine we're going to get to. Food is in a decent shape as well. Maybe not last year, but we were producing more than we were eating, which has allowed us to expand our population and has got some extra people for other things. This leads us to tools. So currently it looks like we're almost half of our tools we're producing roughly so if we got another two blacksmiths we would be there i think we're gonna have to add some more houses over there or we're gonna have to wait for the next tier of houses i'm really torn because i would like two more blacksmiths over here but i don't want people coming from too far away let's go ahead and upgrade these to the enlightened age as we have a little bit of glass it's this i think it was one extra tool if i saw that right paper i guess will be the next thing that we go after as i'd like to have those recipes this would get us another 30 percent maybe take us from the 14 tools to 16 tools. Let's get paper before we do too much else. Not sure where we're gonna be able to fit this in. So if we take a look at this, no advanced building for this, but that's perfectly fine. And it's too big to fit in here. We could come over here, but I think we'd need a little bit of an advancement there. Let's place it on the ocean over here. This is gonna take some wood and some other things to get up and going. It's looking like it's gonna be a hard fit there. I guess we could try to fit it right there. This will work. I was wanting to put more docks here, but we could place it there for the time being. Let's go ahead and pick up that steel. We'll pick up the immigration. We'll pop the immigration just to keep our housing in good shape. We're almost to 330 people, and I think for the first time in a long time, not only are we set for people, I think we have people kind of standing around having extra labor. So let's grab these immigrants. Let's grab this frugality. I got a feeling that that's going to go into the paper maker, maker. Wow. Paper maker. And that will get us the paper we need in order to do some upgrades. We'll do a production target of a thousand. That's perfectly fine. And we'll get a warehouse over here just so they don't have to travel a long way. And this area is looking pretty good. And as our happiness went up, let's take a look at the fisher and see what they're up there to. 1160 i was saying that somewhere around 100 we would be at 1200 and we are inching our way there i am super happy with the fishing i really didn't want to like it i didn't want to go with that route i think that it's super overpowered in the current build with two motivation books somewhere around 120 percent maybe the industrial age or upgrades i could see this being a food source that produces thousands a year and if we were to pair this with say a colony and we were to go with a spot right next to one of the fishers so if we were to go this area right here with a colony where it's just a skip over to the tuna we might be able to see where instead of one batch a year that they're getting here they might be able to get two three batches a year really making those it just pop something that we may even look at is placing some fishers over here as we did pick up these territories we might want to pick up some fishers here just to get them right next to it so that might be something we look at in the future i'm not sure if we can place roads over here let's uh switch over to the roads not the delete so we can place roads over here so we might look at putting a housing district over here as they are just starting to pick up let's go ahead and check on our bakery and see if it's built and we're going to go ahead and bring it to the enlightened age as we give the improved ovens and the baking recipes so if we do this it takes it to 502 we're almost there for the bakeries too i was really hoping to push it a little bit higher with the 
new age, but maybe with the industrial age, we'll push that into the 600 range. At some point in time, I'd like to get rid of the sustainability and have a motivation book in there. I think once it's got the motivation book and maybe got rid of the sustain or the frugality book, maybe we would be closer to like 700 a run. I'm not sure if this is like the other ones where in the industrial age, we can continue to upgrade this. But if that's the case, bread might be solid and fishing might be really solid. I'm really happy with kind of the progression of the game. I'm happy that they added the upgrades like this. Let's take a look at the next thing that we want to do, which is coffee. We haven't picked up the coffee breeder yet. But if there is an advanced version of it, I want to get the coffee started so that in the next episode, we can go right to the advanced. So if you take a look at the brewer, it does have an advanced version, it takes wood, iron and bricks. So we're going to do a block of four of them over here just so they get built. And then the last thing that I want to do closing up this episode is switching out our magic mushrooms for an advanced. And since we've got a lot of money, we might just go ahead and quick build it. I'm not sure. We'll take a look at how expensive it is. Let's grab all of our yearly cards and we'll delete out this one. So hopefully it doesn't gimp us, but we're going to go ahead and sell it. We'll delete out the other one in just a minute, but let's grab magic. We'll get this boy go in here. We're probably going to have to add a couple of extra houses in this neighborhood. Let's go ahead and hide the tree so I can see where the heck I'm building. And we'll do two more for now. Let's grab our immigrants. Let's grab Let's do a sustainability as we already have two frugality books and it might go right into the magic mushrooms. I'm not sure. Let's do a road right here. We might want to take a look at doing stone roads as we have a lot of stones. That'll be something that I go through between episodes and plot out a ton of stone roads. I don't really want to bore you guys and we are having houses downgrade. It looks like we are out of cannabis, so that's going to be a fire that we're going to put out right now. So as soon as this year is done, I'm going to move the cannabis breeder over here and I'm going to switch out two of these to be cannabis, getting ready for this whole block to be cannabis. And I wonder why we're getting a reduced amount there. Fertility is really good. The efficiency is good. So I don't know whether the crop yield is just low for cannabis or if there was another issue, but we are going to make that swap and we might do the same with the tulips where we move the tulip breeder up here in order to make sure that we're ready for four if we need them, but at least two for now. This area is looking good. We may actually move the tulips to somewhere like we did over here so that we have a big section of farms in order to make sure that the tulips are in good shape. Looks like wheat's also in a bad shape, so we are running into some food issues. I'm a little bit scared, you know, I, we were on the up and up, so we did the big expansion. Now all of a sudden we're on the down and down. Magic Mushrooms is done. It takes 20 workers, not 16, and it requires some upgrade points in order to upgrade. Oh man, that is a problem. We'll bump up the budget. We'll go ahead and increase the amount of hours. We will do a single frugality card and we'll do a motivation card. I'm not really sure how I feel about the fact that this is the way it is. I, I thought this was going to be better. Let's go ahead and get rid of the other one real quick and we'll take a look at it. So this one, it's more mushrooms than it is wood, but granted, it's had the upgrades. Let's do the same where we do the two motivation cards over there and we'll see what it looks like. Let's get rid of this. I know that we're going to just use the advanced version and we'll do a double motivation and it is better. We'll go ahead and take the upgrade to the mushroom mastery. It's it in a little bit better shape. And I guess what we'll do is because we're going to be selling the mushrooms in order to make some money, We'll bump this up to a thousand and we'll eat the fact that the budget is so high by just having the budget as high as it is or well, the motivation as high as it is. And what could we do with the points? So I don't really want to spend the points on this. And we got a lot more points throughout the episode because we barely had enough for the bread. So we've picked up another 30. So we could do this for an extra 30% production. I am really reluctant to do that. I think I'm going to hold out. I'm just going to let this kind of go as is. I think this is a good spot to go ahead and call this episode as we got wine up and going. We are in a little bit shaky spot for food. We're ready for a war. So we're going to probably do that between episodes, conquer another minor city and get some more upgrade points. I'd like to thank you guys for joining. We'll see you in the next episode.